pew, pew, pew. We got lights, people. If you've ever blown off actual work to go have fun, hit that subscribe button. Mm. Hello, party people. <laughs> oh, that was so dumb. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Algae Series on Dansville. I'm your host, Dan, and today I'll be showing you how I arranged all the stuff from the unboxing video that we did last week. Pew, 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 pew. We got lights, people. They just got hung up. Um, so let's just, uh, I mean, I know we kind of already did this, but we're going to do it again because today, after I show you all this stuff, I have a customer from my other business coming in like 20 minutes. I just got to do a quick estimate for him. Uh, and then we're going to actually start some algae. Uh, so stick around for that part of the video. It's going to be the second half of the video here, but we're just going to go through right now and I'm going to show you what I have set up where and then we'll go to the next part of the video. So check it out. We'll hear it first. So Still haven't rigged the lights up for the five gallon carboys, but that's okay because we're not going to need them just yet. But I think I'm just going to set up two more lights like these two fluorescent lights running down here. Not fluorescent, I'm sorry, those are LEDs. Uh, as are the top lights here, are uh, LEDs. And there, this is like actually a specific grow light, this top one here. So we've got three different settings. There's just natural white, then there's a veg setting and a bloom setting and you can just, you know, have it just blue, have it just red or just white or all three of them together which makes kind of this purpley color. So I think we're probably just gonna use the white ones. Everything I've been seeing and reading, it just needs white, but who knows, maybe we'll mess around and try with, uh, with some of the other uh, colors here So we have the uh, Orbital shaking table set up up here, and I am gonna put another light back on the wall back there while they're while the little samples are Oscillating So we'll just have one coming out like that But the rest of the lights I actually hooked up to the uh, Shelf itself in case I have to move it around um, so yeah, here, well, it's all turned on right now. So it, it'll spin pretty quickly. Boom, there you go. Can you see me okay? Okay, we're back. Just did my little estimate. We've got distilled water. And we have four new sample bottles. So we're gonna start with 200 milliliters of distilled water in the water bottles. And then we're gonna add another, I don't know how much yet, 200, 300 milliliters of this. And this is disgusting pond water, but it has algae in it. So we're gonna see if we can continue to grow that algae up. So let's go ahead and finish filling up these here bottles of water with the 200 milliliters, and I know we'll lose a little bit here with uh, pouring it down this funnel, but I don't want to spill any of it. Nice. 
nice. Okay, there's two. decide how much I want in here. Let's see what 500 milliliters total looks like in this bottle. So I need to add another 300. So we'll see if 300 would be good for way too much. Okay, let's do 200 milliliters of distilled water and 200 mils of algae water. Put this back in here. Excellent. Now, do the same thing with this algae water over here. Okay, not too bad actually, that was pretty damn good. Okay, here we go. It begins now. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh yes. Okay. Do it again with uh, another one now. Okay. Oh yeah, you in your chair. That's a good boy. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is put a little bit of Miracle Growth fertilizer in two of these. All natural, or not all natural, not even remotely. It says Miracle Grow. Mm. Uh, Water soluble, all purpose plant food. Grows bigger, more beautiful plants. Feed every seven to 14 days. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about the delay. We've changed angles here too. Um, so, here's what we're gonna do. First, we gotta mix this miracle grow up. Okay, one little teaspoon of that. We'll give her a shake, and now we shall shake. We'll just do 50 milliliters in each bottle of the fertilizer here. And we'll set everything aside here that needs to be washed and sterilized. 
We'll keep this and we'll write some dates on when it was mixed. Today is the 9th of October. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, as well as we'll write dates on here. Okay, the last thing I want to do here with one of each of these, one of the fertilized ones and one of the non-fertilized ones. I 3D printed these little tree branch looking things and we're gonna dip them down in there and just hang them because when I was growing this batch of algae, none of it, it was all just kind of growing on the bottom of the, of the bottle and I want to see if I give it, if I give the algae more surface area to grow on, if it'll actually grow better. So we're going to start and we got two of these here. So we're going to have a regular and a fertilized one, both with, with uh, these little Christmas tree looking things in there. And then we're going to have a regular and a fertilized one with nothing. And then that's how we're going to start it. Not even a little bit how I pictured that would look in there, but that'll work. Let's leave that one peeking out a little bit because I'm a little worried about retrieving this one now. But whatever. Perfect. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to this episode. I believe this is episode number five. So keep tuning back in. We're gonna have more coming. Hopefully next week, all this, uh, my live cultures will be here along with that other fertilizer. Um, and we'll start some other samples and we'll really, uh, we'll really start cooking with gas here. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next one. I'm Dan, this is Dansville. I've been your host on the Algae Series today. Thank you all, we'll see you soon. <laughs>